What's up everybody? I want to show you in this tutorial a very quick one today, but how to specifically change the colors of your course inside of Tutor LMS. If you're using Tutor LMS for your learning management system, which I think you should, it's a fantastic plugin as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's a great software tool and you can very easily and very simply customize the course colors inside of Tutor LMS. Now, one reason why I think you should really use Tutor LMS is because of how simplistic it is. Okay, when you want to get started up and running with a learning management site, a lot of what you get with Tutor LMS is great out of the box. Now, it's not perfect, and I very much have had to use some custom CSS in order to get things looking like how I really wanted them to. But I want to give you the basic overview of how to change colors on Tutor LMS and then maybe some things that you should look at in terms of if you do need to use CSS to change your colors, showing you sort of how to get a look at that, okay? So join me here on my WordPress dashboard. This is on the uh, course website or on rather my personal brand website where I house uh, my courses and a lot of my thought leadership stuff. And if we come over here to Tutor LMS, at its most basic, what you'd wanna do is come to settings and then there's going to be this design tab here in settings. You can grab the design tab. And as you come down here, you can check out the colors. You get a few presets and then you have custom. So in order to sort of match up with the coloration schemes that are happening on my site, I have defined a custom color selection. And I'll just briefly sort of show you what that looks like by going into one of my courses. So if we say view a course here, this takes us into the sales page. And if we say enter here, then right here is you can see these colors coming out. You have the black right here and you have the gray color right here. And then some accented items, of course, get that yellow color as well. Now, what I did find is these colors down here. So um, what you have over here and then what you have down here, like in some of these buttons, these were not affected by the color um, settings in the back end. Again, just to show you this, your color settings in the back end in the design are indeed very, very basic, okay? Um, you've got text color, primary ho hover color, and then you've got sort of the uh, gray color for elements like tables and cards. You have a few more items here, actually just one, the border. So uh, if you want to get really advanced with your customization on buttons and backgrounds and things like that, you're going to have to get a little bit into the CSS. Of course, if you just go ahead and grab your inspect tool, which is command option I, um, and then just so you know, so that's if you're on a Mac, if you're on a Windows, I believe it would be um, control. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it'd be on Windows. Maybe control option. I guess option is still a keyboard on Windows. It's been so long uh, since I've used them. So uh, control option I probably on, or maybe shift. I'm not sure to be honest with you. And then also on a Mac, if you do shift command C, uh, shift command C, it brings up this guy right here, the tool where you can just go ahead and grab and select to look at your CSS. And so of course, if you go over here, you see that this is the tutor sidebar wrapper. So I had to go into the custom CSS because I didn't like the color that this was and do a custom definition on that. Another thing I did here, I didn't really like the way by default that the um, the elements of the course over here displayed. So there wasn't this little divider between them. There wasn't sort of this soft uh, edges and the coloration of them was not what I wanted them to be based on the default settings that were in the back. And again, you don't get to get very granular with it. So you do have to do a little bit of custom CSS. And this is not a CSS tutorial. Again, I'm just briefly showing you whereabouts to look for some of these things. But if we grab our inspect tool again, of course, we can grab these and we can see that right here, we needed to do a little bit of custom work. So in this case, I did the background color and made it to be that light gray that matches the top header bar up here. And then I also added a solid light gray one pixel um, border so that it would make a nice differentiation between each of these and it would look nice whether it was expanded or not. That's what I wanted to show you, a simple tutorial on how to edit some of those colors, what colors you're going to have to look at editing using 
CSS and go from there. So if you found this helpful and useful, I would love for you to leave a comment below and I'd be pleased to interact with you. And for more tutorials on Tutor LMS, other learning management systems, sales funnels, building e-learning sites, personal brand sites, I do wish you'd follow the channel here and we'll see you in the next video.